Hey guys, so today's video is going to be an embarrassing feat for me because I'm going to be sharing my shameful series TBR, which is basically where I'm going to talk about all of the series that are on my TBR list that I have not read. And by all means, these are not all of the series that I just have left to wait on and to read. Um, there are quite a few more, but these are the ones that I'm kind of the most guilty about, if you will, and kind of the ones that are the um, highest priority for me right now that I hope to knock out a chunk of this year. All of these are very popular, very loved series, which are why they're shameful because I feel like everyone has read the majority of these, but I haven't, so we're just gonna have a lot of fun with this, and you guys can judge me. It's okay. I won't judge you for judging me. We're gonna start with the basics and what I feel like is like early childhood like necessity and that is the Percy Jackson series. I never read the Percy Jackson series. I also didn't read a lot of the other popular kind of children's fantasy type of series. Um, but the Percy Jackson is one that stands out in my mind that I really want to read because ever since watching booktube videos last year, I've heard so many people talk about it and say they love it and that it's so good and they recommend it all the time. So Percy Jackson is on my list. And of course, in companion with that would be the Heroes of Olympus series, which I believe is a continuation or like a companion series after um, maybe when they're older, I'm not entirely sure, but I know that they were released um, after Percy Jackson and they're still being released. I'm not entirely sure, but I plan on reading those too once I read Percy Jackson. And I actually really like the covers for those. I think that they're very cool. The next one I've talked about before because I actually have read about half of the first book of this series and that is the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins. When the movie was coming out senior year, I decided to read the first one because I was going to the midnight premiere with a friend and I started reading it and I got to about halfway and then I just never finished it and I watched the movie and I was never blown away with the, the book from what I read. I thought it was okay but I didn't love it. Um, but I really want to go back and read them because since then I've gotten a little bit more into dystopian and I also saw Catching Fire as well and I loved it. That movie was phenomenal. I loved it. It was executed very well. It was fantastic and I definitely think uh, based on other people's opinions of the series that the second one will be more enjoyable than the first one. Um, so I'm hopeful to see how that kind of whole trilogy turns out because I loved the second one so I can't wait to see Mockingjay and I want to read them all. Next is a very, very, very well loved and popular author I want to say. I want to say like her her works are like a powerhouse because that's what she is and that is Cassandra Clare and I have not read the Mortal Instrument series or the Infernal Devices and I plan on doing it very soon and I've been holding off for a specific reason but I've been talking about reading the Mortal Instruments since like August of last year. I told you guys I was going to read it. I asked you guys what order to read them in and all this stuff and I was going to buy the box set and read them and then I decided just to wait because City of Heavenly Fire comes out next month and I thought it'll be a few months later but they'll release the box set with all of them. I'm just going to stick it out and get the box set to have them all because I feel like if I'm going to read that series, I'm going to just get them all at once and have them all to read. And I want the hardcover edition, so it's a little bit cheaper to buy the box set versions. And I just am really excited to have those. They look very cool, and I like the kind of foiled, metallic look of the covers. As far as the Infertile Devices, I do plan on reading those too with the Mortal Instruments. I'm just not really sure if those are done yet or not. I'm not sure if there's another one of those that's going to be released, but um, I may just buy those individually and stagger them in because I know that you're supposed to alternate which books from which series to read um, and that kind of thing. So I definitely plan on reading those kind of together. Now the next one I almost bought yesterday and I was going to get it. I was this close and then I just decided to wait because again I thought maybe I'll wait for the box set. And I feel like the box set is like hanging over my head for a lot of these because a lot of these series are like either finished or they're close to being finished. and. Buying the box set's just the most sensible thing to do because it's a lot cheaper and I want the hardcovers and they just look really nice. But that series is the Mara Dyer trilogy or the unbecoming of Mara Dyer and the retribution of Mara Dyer. I believe that the final one is out in July of this year. If not July, I think it's early fall. But the final one of that comes out and so 
Um, I really want to read those. I've heard that they're really good, but that they're kind of creepy, so I'm kind of like, mm -hmm. but I really want to read those. And they have the most kind of interesting covers. Like, they're all very creepy looking and stuff, but they have that really nice kind of rubberized matte feel to them, like the Fifth Wave book does, and um, there's a couple others that do. I can't think of them. Oh, The Infinite Moment of Us does by Lauren Miracle. Uh, so just that kind of like rubberized feel they have, the hardcover versions do, and they're just so cool looking that I want to read those too. This series, I think, is probably the most hyped about series from this year so far, or one of the most. I won't say the most because um, there have been a couple, but this one, the final book, was released from the trilogy, and that is the Shattered Me trilogy by Tahara Mafi. I watched her pronounce this. It's Tahara. Yeah, Tahara. Um, so the Shatter Me trilogy. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me. And my specific reason for these is the covers. And again, that crutch on the box set. But I, if you guys, you guys all know, but they originally released Shatter Me with that not so pretty cover with the girl in the dress and it's very weird looking um, and then they changed them to the gorgeous really pretty eye covers that I love they're hands down some of the most beautiful covers I've ever seen and I love them so much but my problem is that the first one came out in paperback and then the second two were hardcover as new releases are and they didn't release a box set and she said on Twitter that they weren't releasing one yet and I just was all like are you kidding me because who wants the first one in paperback and the second two in hardcover and I know a lot of people have that but I'm determined that one day they will release a box set in hardcover of them all and I will buy them then and read them because if I buy them now and then they do that and that's the only way to get the hardcover I would be mad if I had to buy them again I guess I could give away my first ones or something but I'm just going to wait because I'm determined that one day they will because they'll want to bring it back and get more people to buy it or either they'll do some kind of like holiday collection gift box thing for Christmas or something so I really want to read that. I came this close to buying the first one from the bookstore once because I saw it in the paperback cover and it was so pretty and I wanted it and the purple was like take me home but I, I just left it and I'm just going to wait and have willpower. The next one is the Bloodlines series by Rochelle Mead which is the companion series to Vampire Academy, which you guys know I love. I'm a huge Vampire Academy fan, and I just did not pick up the Bloodline series when I finished Vampire Academy. Um, Vampire Academy was, like, very intense, like, a lot, you know, over six books, and I loved it. I was like, oh, my gosh, but I had to take a little breather after I finished it because I just... I was mad that there wasn't more, but I like wasn't ready to let go of Rose and Dimitri yet to pick up for Sydney and Adrian. So I just have not read the Bloodlines series yet. Um, so I'm planning on doing that this summer, although I have a dilemma again with these covers. You guys, I'm such a nut, but I cannot decide whether I should buy the paperback or the hardcover versions because all of my Vampire Academy ones are paperback and um, I think it's like impossible now to even find them in hardcover like the first two or three. Um, so I'm fine with them. I like my paperback ones fine. And so I was deciding whether I should get the paperback bloodlines too to match them on the shelf or if I should just go ahead and buy hardcover. I think I'm leaning more towards paperback so that they match but the only thing I was concerned about with the hardcover was that if I caught up to where they were being released I would want to read them and not be able to buy them. Um, which is how I feel about Isla and Happily Ever After right now because they just decided to release it in hardcover, which makes me so angry, but that's a different issue. So anyways, I am, am probably going to do that, but if you guys have an opinion on whether I should buy the paperback or the hardcover versions, feel free to help me out below because I feel like I have the stupidest obstacles for not buying and reading certain things, but these things matter, okay? It matters what the bookshelf looks like. We're almost done. I have two more. So the next one just wrapped up in October of last year, I think it was. Maybe November, I think it was October. And that is the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu, which is a dystopian, I believe. And there are three Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. And again, these look really cool. I love the covers. I've heard that these are really, really good. Um, and I almost, again, bought these yesterday. And then I just, you know, found something else that I wanted to get instead. So I didn't get those, but I really want to buy those soon in the box set and read them. Um, that might be a summertime project, but... Um, 
for dystopian right now i got to get through the rest of the divergent series because i luckily got it off this list because i read the first one but i still need to read insurgent and allegiance so i'm kind of focused on that right now with those type of genre but i will read the legend series soon okay and the last one is the lunar chronicles series trilogy is it a trilogy are these a trilogy or are there more coming out i really don't know for this one i thought that Cress was the last one, but it's the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, so Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress. I want to read these. I have Scarlet. I found it at the bookstore for like six dollars or something a couple months ago, and I've been wanting to buy um, Cinder to read. I just haven't had a chance to do that, and I want to place an order on Book Outlet because they have it on there for cheaper, so um, I'm waiting to do that. I just I've been procrastinating, you guys. It's the school year. I want to read those because they're about the fairy tales. And to be honest, I never read the fairy tales as a kid. Like, I watched all the movies, like Cinderella and stuff, but I never really read them. So I think that will be kind of interesting for me, and I'm excited. That is all for today's very long-winded, out-of-breath video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and feel free to share some of your most shameful series below. Be sure to share if there's some that I left off of this list that you think I should read soon that are like top priority for you. Also, let me know below. And I think that's it. I did want to mention to you guys that I just joined Amazon Prime for student, which I've been meaning to do for a long time now. Um, and I just was just putting it off. And then when I went to sign up to buy it, I found out you get the first six months free, which is really awesome. So if you're a college student and you don't have Amazon Prime, basically it is like the regular Prime service, but you get the first six months free. And then after that, you get the membership for half price for a year. And so I signed up and I wanted to share it with you guys because you can refer friends so if you guys want to sign up with my link to let me refer you then I will put a link below because you get some credit and stuff which is awesome because I could buy some more books um, but if you don't want to do that you can just go to their website and sign up and then refer your friends and then you can get credit too like um, I think it's a $10 credit per person that signs up and it's free so you guys should sign up because uh, I think the biggest thing for me is that you get free two-day shipping on any orders which is great because I feel like a lot of times I don't order that many books because I try to wait and do a big order at once because of shipping but now I'm planning on just buying them whenever I want to and just kind of like ordering one or two at a time and things like that which might mean more book hauls or something so that's exciting but I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought you know, some of you might want it if you're a college student, and I think it's pretty cool. So that is all for today. There will be links to all of the series in the information box below, as well as my social media if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And that is all for today. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.